and welcome to 2D Talk. I'm Jace. I wanted to start by saying thank you so much. 2D Talk got to over a hundred subscribers last night and I just, it's, it's absolutely amazing to see it come through. It was just exhilarating and thank you so much for your support, for your help, for sharing, for everything, for continuing to watch and we will continue to earn your subscriptions. Please just know how happy we are for this. So let's move on to what we're doing today. This is my non-spoiler review of Tomb Raider, starring Alicia Vikander, Daniel Wu and Walton Goggins and directed by Raw Uthog. Let's start by just saying that I loved the movie. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. In this movie, Vikander plays Lara Croft, heiress to the vast Croft fortune due to her father going missing, presumed dead, seven years earlier. She stumbles across his notes, which leads her on an adventure the likes of which she can never imagine. So let's talk about the cast. The success of this adaptation rests firmly on the shoulders of Vikander, and she delivers in spades. Her performance strongly emulates the new reimagining of the legendary character in the video games. She mentioned in an interview that she used Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman to help her get into both physical and mental shape. Daniel Wu does a great job here, having loved his portrayal as Sunny in Into the Badlands. I was expecting good things and I was not disappointed. His job is twofold, however. His character was created solely for the movie to appeal to the Asian market and at the moment, based on early word of mouth, that seems to be doing the job. And he has the American appeal, so he's doing great. Walton Goggins villain Matthias Vogel is cold and calculating but with a humanizing motus operandi. He wants to get back to his family. This serves as a reminder also to Lara of what her father must have felt while on the island. Other than that there's little more in the way of development for his character but this movie as again is solely about Lara first and foremost. If I was going to make any complaints about the movie I would say that the CGI is a little ropey at times but also that once you get onto the island it's a little like fun fast paced but not sometimes not in a great way it just feels it's just like click 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 go 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 but not in that kind of awesome actiony kind of way but those are my only real problems with the movie there the big question about this film is whether it breaks the video game movie curse and i can definitely say yes and i have a theory about that other video game movies have fantasy or sci-fi elements for the most part mortal kombat doom warcraft pixel super mario brothers the list goes on Tomb Raider is far more grounded in reality than most and this helps to make it more relatable. Now I know that many fantasy and sci-fi movies have enjoyed massive success but when it comes to video game film adaptations this may be for some reason its Achilles heel. As it stands Tomb Raider has the highest Rotten Tomatoes of them all at 50% which I know isn't high that's still obviously rotten but you gotta take the praise where you can get it right? The movie opened on par with the Resident Evil franchise and it beat out Jolie's second outing as the gun-toting adventurer. As are the times, the movie is getting a large amount of its box office, 79% at the moment, from overseas, unlike the Tomb Raider movies before it, which both have a near even split between foreign and domestic. This gives it the lead over the second Tomb Raider movie in this regard. It also helps that it's the cheapest in the franchise by about a million, so making it more profitable will be easier. Now, a believable hero. From the moment that this movie began, I was like, right, so this is where you're going with the new and improved Lara. What they did is they showed us her life before she embarks on her journey. She's fit, healthy, and a mixed martial artist who is resourceful. All of this setup serves as a way to make how she handles herself on the island believable. She also fails at times to achieve her goals, which makes her fallible and more real. I really enjoyed that aspect of the story, making her less of a Mary Sue and a, I can do it all. I can do this and I really really appreciated that about the movie. So let's get into the negatives of it um, and this isn't about the movie this is about I guess us as moviegoers and us as a society. I've heard complaints against the star that she's not pretty enough and that her let's say assets aren't big enough and to that I say just wow. Wow, we are still in the midst of the Me Too movement and complaints like this are both ridiculous and distasteful. Vikander's description of Lara Croft is from the current run of games, which is far more real than the originals. Anyone, male or female, in a situation such as this character is in would not take time to apply or touch up their makeup in the middle of a treacherous jungle. And a woman like Lara is portrayed as the type of woman who's not overly interested in appearance and would rather choose practicality over sexiness, a choice that many of us would make 
like if we were in that situation if we had an element of sense. No one complained that Indiana Jones's hair was a mess and that he needed to show off more muscles. No one said John McClane needs to be wearing a perfectly fitted suit while traversing the vents of Nakatomi Plaza. So why does a female hero need to adhere to this objectifying nonsense? That's, that's basically my question there to you guys, or one of my questions to you guys. In conclusion, so let's let's rate this thing, shall we? Before I say that, let me just say that this movie is credible, funny, and a step in the right direction for video game movies. And I'm fairly certain it will produce a sequel, especially if it continues to have strong overseas box office. I'm giving Tomb Raider four arrows out of five. It is a worthy watch. If for nothing else, the action scenes are fantastic and her portrayal is absolutely fantastic and gritty and real. So that's it, guys. Tell me, what did you think? Please comment below, let us know. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So that's it, guys. Take care. See you later. Bye bye.